Today, we're gonna to discuss the toughest question when it comes to learning to code. Throw Me Away 6P asks, by having no degree, will I even have a chance to have a future in game programming? Or should I give up on the game making part? Should I do something else in the programming field? I hate this because I love games and I want to make them so bad. This is a common question and a common fear when it comes to learning to code. You start learning and at first you feel great and you've made some words up here on the screen, but soon you go beyond hello world and you get stuck. It's scary, it's frustrating, I get it. The more you learn, the more you start to realize, I got a long way to go before I'm a pro. Then, like this person on Reddit, you begin to wonder, should I just quit, give up, have more free time? Would a company even hire me without a degree? And is the tech I'm learning even valuable to start with? Well, I got good news and a little bit of tough news for the Redditor. First, absolutely 100% you can get a job without a college degree. Software development is the only rare white collar position that does not require a college degree or a license. Stack Overflow did a survey of 100,000 developers and they found out that only three fourths of software developers have a college degree. And those, 64% studied computer science or related major. Let's pause for that for a second. 25% of the devs have no degree at all. Imagine one in four doctors not attending college. Now you may think of that about your doctor. And then, out of the ones who went to college, one in three didn't study medicine. So you, as an aspiring developer, have an amazing career opportunity ahead of you. Every other profession should be jealous of you. Now, I've personally hired dozens of developers across multiple companies. And I'm an employer, and so take it from me, I don't care if you have a degree. I just want to know that you can code. Now, here's the hard part. Not all software development careers are the same. And when you see those eye-popping stats about how many open jobs are available for developers, it's mostly for web application development. Now, according to a study by Payscale, check this out, the fastest growing job in 2018 was full stack web developer. That's not the fastest growing job in tech. That's the fastest growing job in America, period. And game development is a bit like, it's a little bit different. It's like kind of like breaking into Hollywood. You need a lot of talent and equal amounts of luck but there's hope. And I tell students at Coder Foundry to follow their three-year plan. In year one, get your first job however you can. Study in-demand tech, even if you think it's old and boring. Build projects that a hiring manager would like, and not just passion projects. Don't turn down any job interviews, and jump at the first job that someone is willing to pay you for. The best way is to get hired writing software as a full-stack web developer. But there's a twist. You can start there, and then you can choose your own adventure. While your boss is paying you to build these web-based applications on your nine to five, use your weekends for other projects. And I guarantee you that within three years, you'll be able to move into a different field and specialize in whatever you want. But you gotta get that first job. So this isn't theory. I've seen graduates follow the three-year plan and now they're working in the exact job they want. But the key is to get that first job and the best chance for a job is a full stack web dev. And let's get more specific about your situation. So you wanna build a game. You wanna break into game development. A good framework to adopt right now is Unity. With Unity, you can build everything from Xbox games to VR experiences. For example, this is the HoloLens. Now the HoloLens, you can build a VR, an AR game and even business applications for it. And you probably know, to use Unity, you need to learn C Sharp. So what should your three-year plan be? Learn how to build full-stack web apps using C Sharp and the .NET framework. Then, use your mastery of C-sharp to build a game with Unity and release it on Steam. Again, this isn't theory. I can build apps with .NET and Unity, all because I started with C-sharp. So my message to you is this, do not quit. You can break into any industry you want as long as you're committed to your craft. But I strongly recommend that you learn web dev first. And who knows, you may even fall in love with both.